I work with four different authors to order proof copies of their books from every major self-publishing platform with print on demand. In this final part of the four-part series, we'll be ordering a hardcover with dust jacket from Ingram Spark, Lulu, Barnes & Noble Press, and Blurb. We'll compare the quality, cost, fulfillment time, among other things, for each book while showcasing each print proof so you can make your own judgment on what is the best avenue to publish your print books. This time, I'll be working with Mel Kepler, who's assisting indie author Erin Wilkerson with her debut novel, Resonate, that launched in May of 2023. The book is 6x9 with black and white print on white paper, a glossy dust jacket, and 302 pages. The biggest shocker I need to address before we jump into the four avenues is the lack of KDP. Yep, Kindle Direct Publishing is not on this list. Though they recently offered the new option of hardcover, they have yet to expand that option with Dust Jacket. Will they have it eventually? I can only guess and don't have any insider info. Stay tuned to this channel for updates in that area. Ingram Spark. Ingram Spark distributes hardcover books with Dust Jacket to over 40,000 retailers and libraries around the world in 12 different regions. As mentioned in the previous videos in this series, Ingram Spark has a direct pipeline to the massive reach of Ingram Book Group, the same company that distributes print books for companies like Draft a Digital, Lulu, Blurb, and to a certain extent KDP's expanded distribution. Ingram Spark provides four trim sizes on 38 pound ground wood paper, 50 pound cream or white paper, and 70 pound white paper. These paper types are limited based on the trim sizes, so do your research ahead. You can have anywhere from 18 to 840 pages, though again, there are limitations based on the trim sizes that you choose. The options don't stop there because you can choose three options altogether. Ingram Spark has two digital cloth cover variations in blue or gray on textured, matte, and glossy covers. I'm assuming this is the most cost-effective and efficient way for Ingram Spark to produce the books, and I believe it takes nothing away from the overall feel and look. But is this option practical? I'll share more in a second about its limitations. The other options is the jacketed case laminate where you place a cover image on the book along with the jacket. If a reader removes the dust jacket and leaves the book sitting out, other people will notice it better than the nondescript digital cover version. Paper Tiger published a great video about the case laminate with dust jacket, so I highly recommend checking her video out for deeper insights about this option. Ingram Spark allows account holders to set the wholesale discount for retailers. After all, retailers want a piece of the pie, so giving a deeper discount to them increases your likelihood of being stocked on their sites and stores. You can essentially get 45 to 70 percent minus print fees and starting in July 2023 Ingram Spark will be tacking on a 1% distribution fee bringing your earnings down just a little bit. The proof cost $11.86 with handling fees and shipping and taxes the total cost was $19.57. Mel ordered the proof on April 11th it shipped on April 26th and arrived on May 2nd for a total fulfillment and delivery time of 21 days. That is the same time as the hardcover proofs we ordered in the last video in the series. Series. Ingram Spark isn't known for fast fulfillment and delivery time, but I'm sure it has something to do with the upgrades on fulfillment and shipping methods that get priority attention. Waiting for three weeks for a book is a bit long. It makes me wonder if the customers get their books just as slowly or if it's the proof only. The gray digital cloth cover Mel selected appears like it has a canvas cover, but it's merely an image of gray colored canvas fabric. And it looks more blue than it does gray. And you'll find out why when I compare it to another proof later. Here's where it gets confusing. In the options, she selected the gray digital cloth cover with text stamped on the spine. Yeah, there's no text. Maybe it was a misprint? I'm not sure, but the dust jacket was definitely glossy. I think Ingram Spark needs to be clearer about what cover finish is where, whether on the book or on the dust jacket. It's very confusing. The dust jacket is gorgeous with nicely printed flaps, and the print quality is on par with their other publication types. Overall, I give Ingram Spark a 3 out of 5 for hardcovers with dust jackets. I'd be apt to kick that rating up if the proof had the stamp title on the spine as stated, a faster fulfillment time, and a clearer understanding of the hardcover with dust jacket publishing process. Lulu. 
Lulu distributes hardcover books with dust jacket and 16 trim sizes to the Lulu Bookstore, Lulu Direct, and through Ingram, reaching the same avenues, of course, as Ingram Spark. 13 of the 16 trim sizes are available for global distribution. You can print in standard or premium black and white, and standard and premium color options on 60 pound white or cream paper, or 80 pound white paper. The dust jacket can be matte or glossy finish. The book can have a linen wrap in six different colors, but only navy and gray colors are available for global distribution. And the book can have a foil stamp in gold, black, or white, with gold being the only option available for global distribution. So far, Lulu offers the most selections for a hardcover with dust jacket. The minimum and maximum page count is 24 to 800 pages. For the royalty, you get 80% of net profits coming from the global distribution, which means every retailer gets a cut before you get your cut while Lulu takes the other 20%. If you make a sale through Lulu Bookstore, it's a flat 80% royalty. And if you make a sale through Lulu Direct, you get the whole profit minus print fees, shipping, and taxes. The proof costs $20.67, nearly twice the cost of Ingram Spark. With shipping and taxes, the total cost was $27.81. That's over $8 more than Ingram Spark. Is it worth it? Well, we'll see. Mel ordered the Lulu Proof on April 11th, it shipped on April 19th, and arrived on April 25th for a total fulfillment and delivery time of 14 days one week faster than Ingram Spark. Out of the gate, I was overall impressed with how clean the proof was from the cover, to the gray linen fabric on the book, to the gold stamp. When you compare the Lulu proof with the Ingram Spark proof, you'll notice Lulu has a slight edge. The dust jacket is folded with precision and the binding has a near perfect crease, making for an easier reading experience. Though the Lulu paper is 10 pounds thicker than Ingram Spark, I really couldn't see a difference. Although the Lulu book is marginally thicker than the Ingram Spark book. Overall, I'm giving Lulu a strong 4 out of 5 for hardcover with dust jacket. If the delivery time were just a bit faster, I'd kick up the rating to a perfect score. Barnes & Noble Press Barnes & Noble Press distributes hardcover books with dust jacket and four trim sizes to barnesandnoble.com and the U.S. only. You can have from 18 to 800 pages on 50-pound white or cream paper, in standard color on 50-pound or 70-pound white paper, and premium color on 70-pound white paper. And it appears Barnes & Noble doesn't give you a choice on the type of book fabric it uses, but this is where we can draw some assumptions based on some facts. More on that in a bit. Authors get 55% minus print fees, which is a little less than Lulu and in line with Ingram Spark based on what you set as a wholesale discount on their platform. Quick side note, don't be confused. You get virtual shelf space and not physical shelf space in the Barnes & Noble bookstores. For details on getting into their stores, visit dalelinks.com slash bnbookstore. The proof costs $12.46, just slightly more expensive than Ingram Spark and $8 less than Lulu. With shipping, handling, and taxes, the total cost was $20.38. That's just a little over a buck more than Ingram Spark and over $7 cheaper than Lulu. It seems that Barnes & Noble Press closes that price gap with Lulu through their extra fees. Mel ordered the Barnes & Noble Press proof on April 11th, it shipped on April 26th, and arrived on April 28th for a total fulfillment and delivery time of 17 days. It's not as fast as Lulu, but not quite as slow as Ingram Spark. For print fulfillment, Barnes & Noble Press uses Lightning Source, the sister company to Ingram Spark. When you place the books next to each other, you'll see they're very similar except the Ingram Spark cover looks blue, as I mentioned previously, and the Barnes & Noble cover is definitely gray. And yes, it's not actual fabric, it's a matte printed image, so it'd lead me to believe this is the digital cloth cover that Ingram Spark uses. And the difference is, Barnes & Noble Press actually put a gold stamp of the title on the spine. Based on the lack of the stamp, I'm beginning to wonder if Ingram Spark sent a botched proof. Other than that, they're nearly identical, but when compared to Lulu, I still feel it's just not quite as sharp. Is it terrible? No, not at all, but when you're paying a hefty price for a proof, you expect the best. I think Lulu understands that based on the quality they produced. Heck, look at the extra detail Lulu added on the spine, the author name. Now look at the Barnes & Noble Press book. See what I mean? Overall, I give Barnes & Noble Press a 4 out of 5. The lack of distribution beyond the U.S. hinders the perfect score. Blurb. 
Blurb distributes hardcover books with dust jackets in three trim sizes to the Blurb Bookstore, Blurb API, and Ingram, the same distribution used by Ingram, Spark, and Lulu, of course. You only get a glossy dust jacket with a slate gray linen covered book. They offer no stamps on the book. Authors set their profits for sales made through the Blurb Bookstore and Blurb API. Blurb calculates the base print costs, you provide the profit, and Blurb spits out the retail cost. For the additional distribution through Ingram, you set the wholesale discount at 36% or 55%, giving you either 45% or 64% in a royalty. The higher the wholesale discount you agree to, the more likely retailers will stock your book. Just a quick side note, the barcode is placed in the center of the back cover and not the bottom right like the other companies. And the minimum to maximum page count is from 24 to 480 pages, making it the smallest number of pages of all the options. Epic novelists need not apply. The proof costs $21.31, making it the most expensive option of all four options. With shipping and taxes, the total cost was $27.20, which managed to be cheaper than Lulu. So. Lulu closes the price gap through additional shipping and handling fees. For the blurb proofs, Mel ordered a copy on April 11th, it shipped on April 19th, and arrived on April 22nd for a total fulfillment and delivery time of 11 days. This sets the record for the quickest time among all four options, being a few days less than Lulu, six days quicker than Barnes & Noble Press, and nearly half as long as Ingram Spark. After my less than stellar reviews of Blurb and the first three videos of this series, it's refreshing to see them get a leg up on the competition for a change. This definitely influences my rating this time around and has me reconsidering my stance with Blurb books. For whatever reason, Blurb doesn't offer any type of title or author stamp on the book. Compare the Barnes & Noble book with Blurb, then Lulu with Blurb. You'll see how much better the book looks without the dust jacket while having the stamps. Is this a deal breaker? Not really, but when you're paying the highest premium, you better at least kick that in as part of this option. The real question, is the print proof worth the highest premium? If you compare Blurb to Lulu, they are nearly identical. It has super crisp corners, the jacket folds tuck perfectly symmetrical with clean lines, and even though the linen cover doesn't have the stamps, the texture is quite nice. It's literally linen and not some printed on thing. I've been quite harsh on Blurb over the past few videos and this is where it turns around for them. Yes, the cost was high. Yes, I'd love to have more trim sizes and yes, I'd love to have the gold colored stamp on the book, but the quality is simply stellar and the delivery time was the best of all the options. I'm giving Blurb a weak 4 out of 5 this time. To me, the cost is worth it from a quality and fulfillment standpoint. They both make up for some of the negatives in my opinion. Let's hear what Mel had to say about her experience. Ingram Spark, first thing I noticed was the user interface is way more complex than anything else. There's a lot of data fields. It's really easy to feel overwhelmed if you don't know what you're doing. Now, I've published my book to Ingram Spark previously, so I did have a little bit of an idea what things were, but that was three years ago. And so it took a while for me to remember like, okay, this goes here, that goes there. I did accidentally click off of the upload dashboard a few times and you have to go through the whole process starting over again. So that was a little bit painful. <laughs> the template for the cover is a little more difficult to use because other templates came as the size that was fit to your specifications. The cover finish options were a little confusing. Some of the verbiage used, I wasn't sure exactly what finish I was selecting and if it was for the cloth cover. Just the way it was phrased almost made it seem like it was going to be a cloth textured like image. And the last thing with Ingram Spark was that after you submit it, it has a technical file review, which it goes over to someone in their system to make sure that all the files line up correctly. And that took eight whole days to get approved and email the PDF proof back to me. Lulu was a step-by-step -step upload process. It was all on one page. So it went from top to bottom and scrolling. The template live area with the fold markers was different from the other templates that I had. With Ingram Spark, Barnes & Noble Press, and Blurb, I actually used the same cover for all three of those because everything fits so closely and related to each other. Barnes & Noble Press, 
it had also had a really intuitive step-by-step platform. This one wasn't a scroll through the page. It was a click onto the next page to get to the next section, which for a first time user, I think is really great. The standards and requirements are very clear. They do offer a basic cover template, which is easy to use. Barnes and Noble Press did also have like an editorial approval process, and that one took about two days. Blurb. The user interface was really nice. It was like a little more confusing than your Barnes & Noble Press and your Lulu. With Blurb, it was really interesting. They declined it because their interior sizing actually requires that you include the trim dimensions in your overall file. So if it's a six by nine, it needs to be 6.335 by 9.337 or whatever the dimensions end up being. So I did have to go in and reformat. They did not have a template for an interior or a cover file. That can be a little bit tricky, especially with their interior requirements to include that margin. If you want the full interview with authors who work with me in this series, join my channel memberships. Get details at dalelinks.com slash membership. Also, check out the three previous videos in this series here, here, and here. I'll see you in any one of them.